Nick, when it comes to tonight's game, I know you guys mentioned the last night, the other night, that you guys weren't concerned with their streak. Now you have a situation where you still have it since you're playing them once again. Is that a topic of conversation now that you took care of home court, but now you got to take care of it on the road? Uh, I won't really say it's necessarily a any game you go into, you, you go in with the intentions to win the game. We don't, we're not really worried about the streak or whatever. We need to come out, um, you know, focus on focus on our principles and, and win the game. When it comes to this situation where you have in a situation kind of like a back-to-back -back where you're taking on them the second time, what do you take from that game one that's going to be important for this game too? Uh, you watch the film from it, uh, learn learn from it. You already know the sets that up um, be going into and you just want to be as, as sharp and as focused as you can because you know that they're also doing the same thing and then they're also desperate to get a win. How easy was it for Dennis to kind of make himself, assert himself with you guys? And obviously, you talk, you talk about the energy he brings, but when someone new comes in, how easy for is it for you guys to just kind of respond to someone who's as assertive as Dennis is? Yeah, somebody like Dennis, I mean, he plays winning basketball, so, you know, he's he's vocal, he he wants to win, he, he plays extremely hard, he, he guards full court, so he makes, he makes everybody's job easier out there on the court. Um, so it's really a, a seamless transition. That kind of energy, I mean, is that what's going to be necessary for you guys to get more turnovers, more deflections, more loose balls? I mean, these are all kind of things Jacques has been pleading for, but are these the kind of thing? Is that kind of energy going to lend itself to those things? Yeah, I mean, that just goes for everybody. It needs to be, you know, all five guys on the court. We all have to be connected. We all have to be ready to help each other. Um, you know, sometimes it can be kind of uncomfortable when you're um, helping more than you're used to, but we all have to be um, just trusting the game plan and do that. Does the time off kind of help with these, this second slate of back-to-backs, like the two days off, does that kind of help a little bit, or is it still a challenge to have like two back-to-backs this close to each other? I mean, our season, our schedule has been, you know, kind of brutal, but the, the two days off, Christmas, just being, being around your family and everything definitely helps. Um, you know, you do everything to have your body ready to gear up for these back-to-backs and traveling and everything. Nick, you've mentioned about, you know, when you came off of your injury, how you're just trying to get back to just your rhythm. When you look at just the last couple of games and since that time and during that stretch, how would you just assess your game overall that's all kind of benefited from you putting up numbers the way you've been able to do? I think I've been solid. Um, doing, the, my, the, doing my best job of just controlling what I can control. Um, like you said, the injury was a, a small roadblock, but um, I'm starting to feel like myself again, and um, we just, you know, trying to get things rolling, coming off that losing streak.